Good morning. Welcome to Devotions. I was reading a bit of Ephesians the other day and came across Ephesians 1, 13 to 14. When you believed, you were sealed in him with the Holy Spirit of promise, who is given as a pledge of our inheritance. What an amazing sentence. The verb seals conjures up images of permanence, of protection. A jar of fruit that has been properly closed with wax or wax wrap or cooked with lemon won't turn rotten or be exposed to bacteria. A king's seal implies ownership and authority. The word promise implies affirmation, a guarantee, an undertaking by God to ensure that this helper will keep us on the straight and narrow. I find that very comforting. 1 Peter 1 5 says that we are shielded by God's power. We have all known weakness, either physical or emotional or on our spiritual walk. And I'm sure that you agree with me when I say that there are times when we have no voice, that's when we call on the Holy Spirit and know without a doubt that it is our inheritance, our gift, our right almost. When you have few answers to life's problems, call on him. Romans 5.5 5 says, And hope does not disappoint us, because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom he has given us. The word poured reminds me of Ephesians 3.17-19, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, and I pray that you being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all of Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know that this love surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. We can't influence God's love just as much as I cannot control the weather. People will at times stab you in the back, believe, gossip, get divorced, have a miscarriage, lose a loved one. Humans will disappoint and fail. God's love, on the other hand, is immeasurable and dependable. Fortunately, it's not a case of one size fits all either. We were wonderfully and uniquely made with a unique fingerprint just like all the different snowflakes. We all have our unique gifts and need to sing the song God wrote for us with the help of the Holy Spirit. Sing that song that God wrote for you. 1 Corinthians 12, 7 says, Each person is given something to do that shows who God is. That's from the message. Stir up the gift of God which is in you. 2 Timothy 1 6 says, Be you, run your own race, especially in the world of social media today where we follow and constantly watch influencers and famous icons. Their lives might be romantic and enviable aspects to it, but everyone experiences sadness, hopelessness and bouts of depression. Don't close the book when bad things happen in your life. Just turn the page and begin a new chapter with the Holy Spirit at your side. I was at the market one day, sitting on a chair, sipping coffee to rest a bit, and there is a stall there that sells swords and shields of various kinds, depicting the hero or heroine that it is based on. Little children flock to the stall and are transformed into supermen and brave warriors clutching these implements. So cute, so innocent. This aspect of one's life is transitory. It can only last a season, and then one moves on. Fortunately, life has so many wonderful seasons. There is no need to remain stuck in any one only especially when we are undergirthed with God's love, 
and the help of the Holy Spirit. I want to be my own jar of delicious fruit, sealed in with the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us by a loving and generous God, able to grasp how wide and long and high and deep that love is. Have a lovely week, have a lovely Christmas, and don't eat too much cake.